Hi, this is Perry from Solitech, and in this short tech tip I'm going to be talking to you about the instances to vary options when it comes to patterning in SOLIDWORKS 2013. This is a new feature to 2013, and it's actually quite good. Here we have a sheet metal component, and as you can see I can easily flatten this out. And here we have the flat pattern with all the bend lines and so forth. What we're going to do in here, if I just show you the end result, is create a cut that has other cuts in there which are varying in dimensions, as you can see going up through here. In previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, we would have had to create a sketch and then have multiple sketches of the different sizes, like this. We'd have to go through, sketch this out, make it bigger, and pretty much dimension the, all of these and centralize them and then cut through. This is very tedious and not really the easiest way of, of producing the, the cuts that we require. In SOLIDWORKS 2013, they're much simpler for us to be able to do these cuts and do these kind of features, feature cuts like we're seeing here. I'm just going to suppress everything and start from scratch again. I'm going to unsuppress this slot cut and reuse this sketch. Simply going to the feature section, we're going to do an extruded cut using this sketch and cut straight through and link it to the thickness of the sheet metal. This entitles us to easily being able to go back later on and change the thickness of the sheet metal and it will automatically cut through to the desired uh, thickness. We're then going to click on linear pattern. The linear pattern, we're just going to specify the ordinary direction Scrolling down here, we're just going to go to the features that we wish to pattern, drop this down, and choose the cut extrude. As you can see from the full preview that we're seeing there, it's just showing us that it's just going to go in a linear direction with no differences when it comes to the varying dimensions of this feature. We're now going to use the new, new feature which is called uh, instances, instances to Vary, which allows us to control things like the width and also any of these feature dimensions that we can see here. Also allow us to to vary also the instances between each other and their increment. As you can see I've ticked this little box and we now have this new options dialog box that pops up here. I can specify at each increment to increase overall from the 10 mil to increase by another 4 mil at least. As you can see the up in the update we can see that it's giving us a preview of what it's going to look like. We then may want to dimension some of these features like the width and also the length. Clicking on these two, it brings up, up into this blue little dialog box, allowing us to control it per increment. Here we want, well, sorry, per, per instance. Here we want to specify for the width to increase by at least 2 mil. And for the length, we want to increase this by at least 4 mil at each instance. As you can see here from the, the preview, it's actually varying each instance separately. If we want to modify one of these instances to make them smaller, say this middle one, we can easily click on the little pink purple dot and go to modify instance. We can then control this one apart from all the others and change the width to a desired width. We might change this thing to about, 20, to about 10 in the width. We may also edit this again and make it even shorter with the length. We might set it to 30, 35 or even 25 like the original. In the little green tick, up at the top right hand corner, accepts all the patterning options of what we've already changed in there. And as you can see in the graphics view, all the cuts have been created uh, very successfully. Now with our cut pattern completed, we can easily go back to the sheet metal tab and click on the flatten section and we can see the end result, giving us the overall flat with the cuts that we require, like you can see here. We can easily right click on the flat pattern and click export to DXF or DWG to be sent for manufacture. This has been a Solitech tech tip. Please feel free to send us an email uh, for if you have any questions.